spring break or your day off, right? And for some reason, some people think that their life is so much bigger than that. Yeah, you may like your job, but even that is a condition to like that, right? Some of your friends are like, I make good money, but what's good money? Can you go to Tahiti for a month? <laughs> right? And so we're, we're conditioned to just uh, do what other people share with us. Do what other people tell us to do. And for some reason, we're all in hard head and we're like, no, let's do our own thing, right? Mm. And what we all need to understand when we introduce this to our friends, right? We have to understand that people are people, not nothing. People are people, not nothing. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. What's so important about that is if you appreciate, acknowledge, and accept someone, you can be friends. And in this organization, in network marketing, now it has such a, it can have a bad name at times because of all the scams that went on in the 80s and 90s that were outlawed in like 1992, so now they don't exist, right? But what happens is we're paid to make friends. We're paid to help people. <coughs> this doesn't work unless you actively support the next person. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. This doesn't work unless we actively support the next person. I don't care what your dreams, goals, and aspirations. I don't care where you come from, what you've been through when you're seven. <laughs> if you're doing this, we'll help you with that person. And that's what we've learned. What church, what job, what school, what football team can you be a part of where people treat you like that? They don't care what your sexuality is. They don't care what your race is. They don't care any type of background. They just want to support you. Crazy. Right? You got USD. You guys go to USD. You got SDSU. You got the military. When's the last time this ever happened? Come on now. <laughs> Walmart. Who <laughs> <laughs> First thing you have to do <laughs> is get excited. I just stop. <laughs> No, I can spell. It's just it's not legible. Get left. <laughs> get left. <laughs> uh, get excited. In this economy where people are losing their jobs, people are frustrated, people are getting <laughs> people are dying for no reason. In this economy where people are just running around acting crazy, you have to be excited about something. People are looking for something to be excited about. Right? That's why all your friends go to the movies almost every weekend. <laughs> Right? I'm serious. You have to get excited. When you're inviting your friends, when you're telling about this opportunity, when you're sharing, you're introducing them to somebody else. It's exciting. Oh, yeah. Because of this company, I've been to Mexico and back. That was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> right? So here's, the thing, here's the thing. Because you're experienced, we all understand your friends don't know what they don't know, and that's why they don't have because they have big ass egos and small ass bank accounts. That's why talk is cheap. We all need to understand that this is something that can change their lives. Yes or yes? Yeah. We can agree that events change lives. Yes or yes? Yeah. Right. The question is, why do some people come to events by themselves? If events change lives, why would you ever come to an event alone? Mm. Why? Like when you go to church and you're just like, I got a message, I, got, I need someone to see it. It's the same exact thing. <laughs> right? So you got to get excited because excitement is never taught. It's only taught. This isn't one of those things like the basketball team where you show up and then everyone wins the game. This is one of those things where if you work your ass off for five years, you can live the next 50 years doing whatever the heck you want to do. Yeah. And if that's exactly what you're doing right now, have the time freedom and the financial freedom to do that. Right? And then you have to pay attention. They can't spell. You got that one. You got to pay attention. Right? Because here's the thing, here's the thing. I was in church the other day and they shared with me. They said, look, if you invest in other people, God will invest. And for me, right, I take my religion, you know, my spirituality very seriously. So I tie in whatever I learned in church, whatever, you know, my walk with Christ consists of. And I put in this opportunity because it's kind of, it's kind of uh, coinciding. Here's the thing. The Bible says be fruitful and multiply. Yes or yes? In this organization, we're fruitful. Yes or yes? Duplicating, yes or yes. Sorry, multiplying, yes or yes. The Bible also says speak the truth in love, yes or yes. That's why this isn't about getting people. This isn't about getting people. This isn't about taking people's money and them investing. I don't know why people think they got to invest, right? This isn't about that. This is about you investing in the next person so that they can invest in the next person because if you invest life into life, I promise you a seed will grow, yes or yes. That's what this is about. Whatever your situation is, literally use that 
to propel you, right? Use that to help you, not hinder you. A lot of people, they do things like this, or they think about things like this, and like, oh, I can never be like, I can never do that, I can never speak in front of the room, I can never, you know, help my friends or, you know, share this information. That's because they're making the opportunity too much about that instead of the blessing in the room, right? So you want to pay attention because success leaves clues. For some reason, 3% of the population owns 97% of the wealth. Here's the thing, they don't have jobs, they own their own business. They don't have degrees, they have access, mm -hmm. right? When we talk about going to school and working, it's not a problem. But when you think you're going to get this high-paying job and be set for the rest of your life, that's where the contradiction comes into play. And that's where we have to help people understand what we do. Here's the thing, we're not in the business of convincing or begging. Why would I beg you when I tell God bless you? We're in the business of educating people. When we think about dreaming, when we think about doing what we want to do, when we think about that kind of stuff, educate people about what's going on in the world today and why working a job is not what, what we need to do. Right? But why network marketing? Why <coughs> network marketing? This is the number two profession in the world that produces six and seven figure income earnings. Right? You can come into this with no prior experience and come out earning six figures within 12 months, 36 months, 48 months. This is the only profession in the world that you can do that. When you think about professional athletics, only 1% of them make it to the big leagues, yes, yes. Mm. And then after five years of them leaving the league, they're broke, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do this. Never, never quit. Right? You get excited, you pay attention, and then you never quit. Right? Here's, what, here's why this is a family and not just a business. Because business partners will quit on other business partners. It happens all the time. But y'all see the, the network, the Facebook movie, business partners quit on other business partners all the time. But family members will never quit on family members, for the most part, right? And this is why we say never quit, because it's not about getting there immediately. That's the problem with so many people today, is that they have this microwavable mentality. How many people have you, have you talked to about this? Yes, we have. How many people have you talked to about this? And they say, well, I don't know. I don't, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's guaranteed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, because you can walk out there today and die right now, right? That concept of getting a degree and then getting a job, that's not guaranteed. But so many people, literally, what, 30,000 kids at your school, 30,000 kids at your school on average are doing that. So where's the guarantee in life? There's no guarantee in anything that we do. Your parents could get fired today from whatever job that they have. There's no security in job security. Right? But you want to never quit because it's not about getting there immediately. It's about getting there indefinitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. My mentor said it the best. You want to begin with the end in mind. You want to begin with the end in mind. So many people do stuff like this, whether it's their basketball team, their chess club, they go to school. How many people, you know, going to college and they don't know why they're there and they're just majoring or whatever? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Think about it. They're just like, well, it'll hit me eventually. No, things don't just happen. <laughs> things happen just. That's what we need to understand. It's not about making the right decision. So many of our friends are so scared about making the wrong decision because in school they taught, they taught us that failure is not an option. In life, the best education is self-education. Formal education will get you a job. Self-education can build you a fortune of your choosing. Right? It's not about making the right decision. It's about making your decision right. Mm. If you want to do this, make it happen. But in corporate America, you don't have a team of people saying, look, we're going to help you. We're excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It doesn't happen. <laughs> Think about it. Right? A lot of people, they want to chip off how much it costs to do stuff like this. Search on international business for less than $1,000. Here's the thing. What country can you go into and do the exact same thing? <laughs> Get paid nine different ways and work with your peers with impeccable credibility. You want a kiosk at the mall? You need 20 grand up front. Shoot. It's crazy. So that's why we're in the business of educating people. Because in this economy, so many people are thinking it's going to make it on their Facebook or their Instagram. How are you financially free? You're living home with your parents, driving a Honda that they pay for, working on a job at the mall. Mm -hmm. What do you guys But this is so important in this business. Eh, wrong. Oh, okay. never mind. People say, well, how does this work? Right? The simple answer for how this works is your friends buy it, people make money. That's pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. But then that would make us sound like we're just trying to get people, right? Mm -hmm. 
Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me, what happens if I do this and then I don't get it? What would happen to Apple if no one bought Apple products? (laughs) (laughs) So here's the cool thing. When we talk about building a network, understand what that means. It's a network, but we're all connected. So this business is calculated by a series of points, volume points, right? So whether you're sharing the information or someone in your network is sharing the information, we're all benefiting from the points. And they use the points, one, as a sense of inventory in terms of product per month, and then to calculate the points. So you need inventory because if we didn't have some of these, we'd be considered one of those things, right? right. Okay. Now the points is to calculate who gets paid what, how much they're getting paid, and depending on what website it's going through, because we're all our own business owners, we get all these websites, that's how it works. But understand the system works the same for everybody. Someone buys something, someone gets paid. Therefore, it doesn't it doesn't matter what happened to you when you were seven, it doesn't matter that you're homeless, it doesn't matter if you're working full time and have a kid. It doesn't matter because it doesn't know that it's a computer. But here's what makes this opportunity great. Here's what my mentor shared with me quite recently. He said the difference between a wealthy person and a non-wealthy person, a broke person and a non-broken person, a successful person and a a non-successful person, the difference between someone like you who got started in this and is making money and someone like somebody else that got started the same exact day, the same exact time that got started in this and isn't making shit, the difference between someone that's here a year from now cracking a six-figure income called presidential and started a year ago and quit their two days into it, the difference between all of that is not much. The difference between all of that is not much. Period. My mentor said it the best. Spending money is at risk. Being uneducated is risky. Right? Because what we don't know can hurt us, yes? Yeah? Mm-hmm. And so what makes this different than anything we've ever done in our life, whether it's the football game, the chess club, college, it doesn't matter, is personal development. When's the last time you had a, you took a class on how you can help you become a better you? <laughs> When's the last time your professor said, what do you think, and it wasn't on an essay on the class that they really want to do? When's the last time someone said, hey, how are you? How is your family? And actually waited for a response, and then actually had a follow-up response and treated you like a human enemy. It does not happen. It doesn't happen. And so personal development is what will set you apart from anyone else that you know in your life. Right? Because what happens is so many people, they're conditioned to think on the same frequency. That's why there's one professor and thousands of students. They're conditioned to think on the same frequency. Therefore, when you tell somebody, hey, what do you think? They don't have an answer. How many of your broke-ass friends use the words, I don't know? Mm -hmm. Probably, if, maybe. We're not programmed to think. Right? So personal development, this literally saved my life, not just changed my life. When I was introduced to this, I really was homeless. I really do, did attempt suicide. I really was in this mindset of thinking the world was against me. Instead of being a victim, I decided to be a victor because I had to take control of my life. Right? But here's how I did it. I had to allow myself new information. The Bible says in order to seek transformation, you must renew your mind. Right? talks about not leaning on your own understanding. And so books like Rich Dad Poor Dad, right? Books like Quantum Leap, right? I think that the title's called You Square. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Books like, huh, this one. Let's see who's read this one. Why A students and then it says work for C students <laughs> and B students work for the government. <laughs> Looks like wow. <laughs> these type of books literally revolutionize the way that I was thinking. Because we all we all can agree that thoughts become things. That's why certain people act and behave certain ways. A mentor says the best. Education, right? Teaching someone something isn't showing them information that they did not know before, but helping them behave in a way that they did not be before. Mm. So books like this that just introduce new information to me that I could possibly use in my life. Now, what does that mean, right? I don't believe in secrets. There's just information you weren't originally made aware of. Right? The information's out there. There's libraries, there's the internet, the information for you to live 
to your fullest potential with their use of time. And so with this type of organization, with building people, right? If you build the person, the person builds the business. Books like this will help you understand what we do, why we do it, and then how to go about it. That's why so many people, they do these things and they're in the same position, right? Three months later, because they didn't pick up a book. They didn't plug into the system. They didn't call their upline. Does that make sense? It's like being on the basketball team but not showing up to practice, but you're mad because you're not starting. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. True, right? And so you just want to recondition your mind. And at, here's the difference between what? You ever got this? Yep. Here's the difference between you and some of your friends. Because here's the thing. Not everyone's going to do this. We're not brainwashed. You know, so someone told me that, oh, is that your brainwash? I'm like, bitch, are you still oh, real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get real or no? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, you know, when we talk about being willing, ready, and able, right? We're, we're looking for those people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's why some people won't do this. Some will. Some won't. So what? We want this. Right? Some people won't do this because they're not part of the situation yet. Oh my God, I hate my job. Not, not enough. Would you still wake up at 6 a.m.? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. No one told you you had to work a job. No one told you you had to do whatever it is that you're doing. You're going to do it even though you dislike it. You don't dislike it enough to not do it. Mm-hmm. My friend was like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I said, oh, here's some Have some of my sandwich. She said, oh, I don't like mayonnaise. I said, then bitch, you're not hungry. that dreamers dream with their eyes closed, visionaries dream with their eyes open. Here's the thing, my mentor said it the best, if you woke up broke, you didn't, you had no business going to sleep. <laughs> because visionaries go to sleep with the dream, wake up with the purpose. They wake up with a purpose. <clears throat> That's why what we're doing will literally revolutionize the world. As big as we are, a company doing over $21 million a month, as big as we are open for distribution in 62 other countries, as big as we are going to the billions in the next 12 months, no one knows that. No one knows. But here's the thing, here's the thing, because you know, I, I remember this story of a guy named Bill Gates, crazy <laughs> ass individual, right? This crazy guy with this crazy idea, something about computers and software and all this other stuff. He shared it with a few of his crazy friends. And three of them weren't crazy, but the two of them that were crazy, for some reason, they're billionaires today. <laughs> Same thing with Mark Zuckerberg. He was this crazy guy that had a crazy idea and I shared it with a few of his crazy friends and his crazy daughter. And now he's one of the youngest billionaires in history. He did that in eight years. Same thing with J.K. Rowling. She was this crazy woman that had this crazy idea that turned into what? Like 10 crazy movies. And in 12 years, she built a crazy net worth of 1.2 billion here's the thing all your friends are going to say you're crazy <laughs> so if we can just understand that today <laughs> right because if you buy someone's opinion you're going to buy their lifestyle that's why some of your friends that have jobs were told to get a job by someone who had a job right <laughs> but understand understand what's going to be crazy is you being in the south of france Explain to the waiter why you've been here eight days in a row and you don't seem to have a job, but yet you're ordering everything off the menu because you can't. Mm. What's going to be crazy is you standing on the 45th floor of a balcony over the overlooking of you in a country that you can't even pronounce. Oh, yeah. That's going to be crazy. Mm. Right? What's going to be crazy is you owning one home on every continent in the world. Mm. What's going to be crazy is you literally going out the country and not having the tax. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait, I don't need to. <laughs> that is going to be so crazy. What's going to be crazy is explaining to your friends that you didn't know what day of the week it was. 
right? <laughs> Explain to your friends why you drive eight different cars, seven different cars, ten different cars, and they only drive one. You know, and I, I, I get it. It's awkward doing what you do, like talking to people, traveling, and making money, and helping people change their lives. It's very awkward, right? My mentor says the best. Charles can go set it to the best. Your warm market, that's practice. Your cold market, that's the game. It's so easy to talk to your friends, right? Talk to someone you don't know. Get to know them. Befriend them, right? If they want to do the business, get them in the business. But what's going to be awkward is you literally retiring your parents. Like, you don't know how that works. <laughs> That's going to be awkward to think. <laughs> but for right now, everyone's asking, you know, and saying what you can't do. Because in a few years, they're going to say, what can't you do? Mm. Real talk. When you think about Michael Jordan, when you think about people, people like Shaquille O'Neal, this guy just reportedly fought the LA, not the LA, uh, the Sacramento Kings. Oh. He owned them. I met him one time. He was an ass. But that's so cool that you played in the game, now you own a team. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's crazy is, you know, you guys can do whatever it is that you want to do. But you have to not be afraid of your own. You have to literally go out there, seek out new information, and then practice it, apply it. Knowledge is not a power. Knowledge is not power. Application is power. Apply the information that you've learned in here, in anywhere, because anything can be, you know, funneled into our system. But when you're talking to your friends, you know, you got to validate them. You got to really show them it, right? And a lot of people, they ask me, um, why didn't you quit? What, what? It's been like eight months for me. Right? Why didn't you quit? And for me, I was thinking, like, because I want to be rich. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was having a conversation with Ned Wendland last night. Ned one was 26 years old, sitting over a quarter month. In this opportunity, I just came back from Germany and the East Coast, and um, having a conversation with him last night. And uh, you know, I was just telling him, like, I already attempted to do that. I was willing to give up the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. He said, she said, they said, I heard the boyfriends of this to that, the girlfriends of this to that, the families of this to that, all this stuff. I was ready to give all that up. Therefore, I wasn't hiding behind that. If I couldn't make it here, I couldn't make it anywhere. Mm. So I don't know about you, but I don't know how my mom worked over 25 years. I don't know how she did that, mm -hmm. right? But so many of our friends are thinking they can't get ahead. So many of our family members are thinking they can't get ahead because they're looking at their lives and falling out of place, falling apart, right? Destructive. Stop looking at it like that. Think of your life falling into place. It doesn't make more sense. So thinking about what you don't have, think about what you do have. Because in this opportunity, we're taught to go with the flow and work with what we got. Some of you guys that are building this for the first time, some of you guys that are reconstructing your businesses or opening new areas and rebuilding, go with the flow because this is an industry, not a business. Right? And every other business does stuff like this where they have to retain their orders and all these different things and work well with people. But just understand, like, this won't happen just because you're here. This will happen because you did something just because you're here. Does that make sense? And so you just gotta, you just gotta understand that. But anyway, it's hot up in here. <laughs> Thank you. <all. laughs> yeah. Wow. Guys, last, last but not least, real quick.